Hello, this is me. I'm just doing a short little book review on the books Sigil, Cyphers and Scripts History and Graphic Function of Magic Symbols by M.B. Jackson. This is one of those uh, really interesting books for me. I have a lot of old um, books in uh, five different languages with religious symbolism and uh, all these uh, thick kinds of books, uh, bookshelves f uh, filled. And then my late friend had bought this book. And then I start to read through it to make this video. And uh, it contains even more than maybe some of my, all of my books together, since it has a little bit of everything in it. So I show you this one. I hope you can see this since I can't really see what I'm filming. But like magic writing. It goes all these different symbols and European and Pythagorean and uh, planetary seals and uh, since all the internet craze went over my head I was always working and uh, on my spare time I was in the stables and uh, doing farm work and uh, things like that so I never really caught the internet bug and I used to order um, those book catalogues sent from Levelin and other places and then you I had to change the money to dollars and then send dollars straight to Levelin in America and wait for the, le the delivery of the books and that could take sometimes up to eight months to get the books and sometimes the money and the envelope disappeared on the way so So I was so happy when I had this one bookstore where you could order books from for that was the only guarantee that I could get the book since I didn't have to buy until I had it in my hand or pay for it. So that a book like this has never even crossed my mind that it might exist. A cheap, simple book that has these uh, correct seals and sigils that are accurate. I thought that uh, these kind of books always were like um, something that everybody copied and there were a lot of mistakes in them and uh, so forth. And... Um, I'm not an author but I think it's like that that you have to always get the permission from the books if you copy something from a book you have to get a permission so I think uh, in order to publish a book that it must be correct and you have the um, contacted uh, true authors and so on so if I'm wrong please uh, let me know but I thought that it was something like uh, getting a, um, what is it called, a pattern uh, that you discover and own something that it works like copyright and uh, that you can't uh, copy. However, you must get a permission. So if I'm wrong, please correct me, but I think this is legi legitimate. And I truly enjoy that. This is one, if I would have the ability to go out camping in the wilderness this year, which I can't, but then this is one of those books that is easy to fit into the backpack and uh, take along and... I always take paperbacks in my backpack. 
I carry 35 kilos each time, but uh, since I love reading books, that means that I truly have to think of what I want to carry and what I need. And I don't have internet while out camping. It's not those areas where there is connection or phones or... That's not the wilderness if I have a phone connection. But I truly have been so surprised over this book. I'm just so... There is so much information that is com uh, correct. There might be wrongs, I haven't uh, studied this book uh, completely, but I've been checking out here and there, and uh, most of them I recognize anyhow. So. And what I like about this, that it talks about the runics, uh, the Viking runes and the footarks, since I've been to a lot of Viking graveyards in my... There are quite a lot of them around. And they all have different runes, depending on if, if they were from Norway or what area. Here I hope that you can see, here are some... Addresses. I'm trying to film them so you can see. Connected to internet sites. My magnifier glass is gone missing, so I can't put these on. Uh, write them down right now. So let's see. So I do it this way instead. And the thing why I can't check out, my phone is that big and then when I go to internet, I have a similar, quite similar phone, then it's so small so I sit there with eyeglasses and a magnifier and try to write out the letters and that's why I can't check out this internet connections for you and uh, the library only has a uh, 10 minute window to do research on and then you have to book it uh, one month ahead so there is not much I can do and I'm not vaccinated yet I have to wait for two vaccinations first so I'm sitting here with my phone making videos to you and this is truly an eye-opening book for me since this is this is the second book by the Green Magic uh, Publishing. So it must be some sort of uh, United Kingdom uh, small publisher I never heard about, but. I truly enjoyed this book and it was so different. And I wish you all the best and have a magical, magical day. Bye for now.